music is inherent in the streets. Do you think it's just a soundtrack, isn't it? Yeah. That's all it ever has been. 100%. So it's whatever's flavour. Yeah. But and they don't care for it. Nah. They don't care. Most of them don't care. No, it's I, just, it's popular. Yeah. I mean, one time, this guy came to book me in debt on a Sunday. So we are like, wow, okay. Mm. Gone down there. It's a christening. We're like, what the <laughs> hell is this? It's a christening. Anyway, so I mean, debt's gone on. The same night we got Jungle Fever. So mm. we've gone on. I was gone. I'm like, Debt, we have to go. Let's get back to London for Jungle Fever. Debt's like, Brox, what's up? I'm like, well, it's not going to happen. I'm like, why not? He said, you see that guy there with the hoodie? I'm like, yeah, he just took a Uzi out and said, you're not going nowhere. Killer Keller podcast. Killer Keller official dot com. Street Culture TV. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. We're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Oh, my days. Killer Keller Podcast. Hope everyone's all right. Uh, central London, or as central as you need to be. Choose to be. Want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. But if you need more of the love, Television app, free download for iPhone and Android for your street culture, sports, and then some. Um, our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Wow, it's a moment. It's a moment for the 14 year old inside of me. Uh, a gentleman that has uh, scoured the rave surface for decades and decades on your pirate radios from Cool FM, just to name one of many. Uh, he has binged and purged the world of drum and bass and before, uh, along cohorts such as MC Debt. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot to go through. We're going to indulge, we're going to get deep, and yes, my very good pleasure, this is Brocky Inside the Place. Respect, man. Respect. <laughs> Respect, man. Well, I mean, we have had a little chat before we started, haven't yeah. we? Um, one of the, one of the ones was uh, speak louder in case uh, in case okay. you can't hear. No, you said that right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the, over the years, that the DJing has kind of uh, taken its toll on the ears. Yeah, definitely. I like it's, it's just like being at um um someone at um with a with a, with a market drill on the roads. You're gonna get arthritis. <laughs> no matter what you do, something's gonna happen to you. So just like with the ears, in it. Yeah. Over 30 odd years, the ears have been pounded. Yeah. So I ask people to speak louder. Yeah, and it works. <laughs> Without question, the amount of times, I mean, God, going to a drum and bass event and jumping on the microphone, cold out the hotel and walking onto the stage yeah. and being like, what sort of sorcery volume is this? <laughs> you guys, I mean, it's like, like it's not loud enough. Yeah, right? it, it might be harder for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because like, well, the, the MC is always a bit harder than yeah. the DJs, you know what I mean? Because we got control of the mics, yeah. of the deck, sorry, of the mm. music, you know, the most time, but MCs. If we, if, we, if, if we ain't got control, if we got control, mm. it's not good. Mm. You need to be professional, the guy on the main desk to have control. Mm. And then you always find the MCs, well, up, up, and it's a battle for you guys. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the, the bad-minded DJs that were just slowly, yeah. every now and again, turning it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't want none of it. Yeah, that's <laughs> just, true. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've see, I seen them. You've seen them, yeah. <laughs> well, you've seen a lot, my brother. I mm -hmm. mean, to, to, that's an understatement, actually. You know, you've... You've been in those scenarios, in many different scenarios. And I guess the, close, the first thing I have to ask is, you know, what is a, what is a situation like for Brocky on any given evening? Like when you're, when you're in those environments, mm -hmm. you must have some of the most wildest stories to date. Yeah. Even more recently. There must, there must be some crazy, crazy moments that you've seen. Yeah. Like the whole DJ life. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the most craziest moments would be, um, watching someone, um, I mean, I've seen crazy moments as in people doing drugs. Mm. I've seen crazy moments as in violence. But the most, the bit, of course, the most beautiful crazy moments for me is watching somebody, mm. knowing that that person, if they stay on the straight and narrow, it's going to make it. Yeah. You know, like you can see the hunger in some people and their attitude yeah. and you're like... That guy is going to make it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then you can see the ones who you know to yourself, you're not going to make it. You know You've got the talent, but you haven't got the right the right frame of mind to make mm. it. You know what I mean? Mm. You're, you're, you're too you're either too too sure of yourself, your ego's too big, or mm. you expect too much too soon. Mm. 
But that's that's the most beautiful moments I've seen. It's, it's been to, not, you know, over the years. It's like being, it's like um, it's like being an A and R. Yeah, it's like driving a car, isn't it? You know, you might drive a car, you might pass your driving test, yeah. and have and have the P on your car and think you're the best driver. Mm. But you know, I got twenty years experience, and experience I got in the twenty years of driving my cars. I can look ahead and look and see five cars ahead and say that guy's going to crash. Mm-hmm. You could never do that. You might oh. be a better car driver than me. Yeah. You might even be, be you might be a Formula One driver. Mm. But I can look ahead for experience and, and and being in them situations and just by someone the way they move their car, something's gonna happen to you. You can kind of forecast. You, yeah, because that's experience. And that's the same with being an artist. I can look, we can I can look mm. at artists and say, this guy's gonna get there. You know, or this young girl's gonna get mm. there. You know, or this young guy's gonna get there because of the way that they got their heads in the right space. Mm. And they got the right, um, most young people, they got the right family behind them mm. that believe in them and mm. are pushing them. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the most beautiful things I've seen, you know, and just as, you know, that's it, that's it for me, really. Mm. The, the other sides I've seen, of course, I've seen the violent sides. Well, sticking with that, because it, that's an interesting angle, and I'd like to highlight that a little bit, is the experience that you hold as a DJ. Mm-hmm. Now, big up all the others, all the, you know, <laughs> from the Jumper Jet Frost, the Kenny Cairns, DJ Rap, everyone yeah. that's been on the, the podcast before, hail up, um, and you've been spoken very highly of mm-hmm. uh, pre, uh, pre-recording. Uh, you are able to f- use your experience to forecast and almost nurture those new characters, those yeah. people that you know, you that bring value to the yeah, scene. Yeah, I mean that is, it's rare. Yeah, isn't it? it's something. Yeah, because I can. I, I run a, um, a group as well on um, on Facebook. I've been running this maybe nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Wow. I've been, I've been running a Facebook group. That's incredible. We've had um, beach parties, raves, meetups, everything. Wow. Nine years I've been running it. That's insane. It's called the Brocky Group. That, nine, you must have done that like early doors Facebook. Yeah, nine years. <laughs> this may be nine years. And wow. I, was on, I was on there just five minutes ago. I'm yeah. on it every day. Yeah. So I've always been that guy to watch and merch. And I, and I, and we have, and I bring through young artists. Yeah, yeah. Through my group, I've given over 100 people an opportunity to, to, to show themselves, to mm-hmm, play out. Mm-hmm. Play in Scala, play on, on proper setups, yeah. you know, be on flyers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that for, you know, through my group. I've been running for nine years, so I don't wow. just um, what's the thing? What's the say? I don't just walk the talk. Like, you, yeah. you, know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't walk the walk. I talk the talk yeah. too. Yeah, I yeah. am that. I do it. Yeah. I don't just talk it. I do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Up on Cool FM, I brought um the deaf community up there. Mm. They're deaf, mm. you know, because the guy booked me about twenty years ago, and twenty years later, I got opportunities to show some love back. Mm. So I brought them up there, and they're deaf. You know, so I and I bring kids up there. How's it work? How's how's would they fill the base? Yeah, some of them got base packs. Or like the, the, yeah, they got a base yeah, pack. That's your yeah, base. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and most of them because it's um computer based, you can look at the grids. So they got they got enhanced um, vibrations. Yeah, headphones or earplugs, but they can get they can heart, kind of hear, but not fully hear. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. If 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 you if I show you the video, you'll be they, they done. They was on for an hour. Really, and just didn't miss a on single thing. MCing, DJing. But I mean, if you get a chance, have a look. It's That's on... incredible. Yeah, and they're deaf. It's called the Deaf Rave. They play at Boomtown. They have their own festival. Wow, no. The deaf you community learn is... something new every day. That's incredible. yeah. The deaf community is massive when it comes to um, DMV. I wonder how that would work with beatboxing. That would be crazy. Did they do all that as well? Yo. They do everything. Yo, that's they got crazy. they got the guy who I brought up on the show. Mm. There's a there's a um, sign language rapper. <laughs> if I show you, I can show you the clip, and he's doing all that. He must know what he's going to say. Yeah, but he's rapping wow. to the tune, but in sign language. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, mind bender. That's yeah. crazy. And it's, it's called a guy named Troy that runs it. Big up Troy. That's yeah. a what. A, and and he's been doing that for twenty feet. years. Wow. He brought me. To a, a hired me twenty years ago, and so I'm like, "What?" Hmm. I'm like, "You, yeah, yeah, your mind is gonna hear what? How do they hear what I'm doing? How would they know who I am?" Yeah. When I got these, like, they're like, "Brocky," I'm like, "What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know who I am?" Oh, yeah. I used to call it M, the bass. I'm like, "Is it?" Like, wow, wow, it, it blew me away, and I left from there to go and play in fabric. Wow. So the contrast. 
walking into a club. Yeah. And don't forget, no one's the music's playing, but yeah. the lights are on. Yeah. But no one's um they're, they're all sign language in. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So you've got a whole <laughs> room with everyone sign language in. Does nothing does anything surprise you, Brox? Like you've seen a lot of things in mm. the rave, in your whole pit. I mean, a long time you've been doing your thing. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, a, you're an, a, a whole member of the establishment. That you're the, the part of the round table. Oh. You're that guy. <laughs> you're like, I was surprised. I was hit him. I was like, yo, you want to come through? And it, you know, didn't hear anything first. And I was like, no, it's cool. It's Brocky. I understand. And then he hit me back. I was like, it's working. Brocky's coming. No, I know like, who you are. Yeah, I'm a I know who you are. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, you've, you've. No, because I know. I know who you are, mm. and I know that you've been in the scene just as long as me, and you're doing your thing. Yeah. And it's harder for you where you're coming from than it is for me. No, but you're still that. there yeah. and doing your thing, and you haven't changed. You haven't tried to try something, do something different just to fit the mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kept on on your what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dad was talking well about you the other day to me. Yeah, big up that. He was mentioning, you know, um, some I um, think was um, was it um. I can't remember where some of you was at anyway, and mm -hmm. you lot was all on the on the and that was mentioned it to yeah, me. Yeah, big up, rest in peace, Lecky. Yeah, that's that it. it. Yeah, and that was yeah. you know, and that was loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and all the, all, the, all the guys loved it. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Because so you fun. bring something different for them. Yeah, yeah. And they respect that. And, and again, again, just adding more value to 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 my sentiment to you is is seeing things like that, or seeing things like the death raves, or you know, going to certain places and and c collection of characters or audiences mm -hmm. you must there, there must have been so many examples like that through your career yeah because um, you haven't very similar to me in many respects you you haven't you haven't deferred you know you get what it says on the tin with brocky mm -hmm. you don't fuck with Bro brocky's got in his tin yeah because that's what he does yeah and but you've managed to yeah you know what i mean to cherry stay. pick and stay in yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean it's been with a with, you know with the love of debt and the love of cool fm mm. you know what i mean and I'm not, you know, that's that's what's helped me, and and because I love the music, mm. you know, I don't, I don't just, I I love the scene, I love the music, you know, it's not, you know, it's all I do, mm. you know what I mean? I don't do nothing else, mm. you know. I love that about my heroes, though. I love that about artists that fucking don't don't try and. Don't try and change Brocky. Brocky does this. Yeah, that's what I do. I fucking love yeah, it. you can't change me. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean. You know, a lot of people try, you know, like with this new sound that's going on. I, you know, this jump up. I, I, I play jump up. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't play jump up because it's jump up. I play jump up because I progress with the scene. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I yeah, move yeah, with yeah, the yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like dance music. Mm. So I don't care if it's old school or jump up. Yeah. Long so it's one it's and good, the same. It's energy. It's all the same to me. Yeah. It's just good music. I don't yeah. care if it's Euro, if it's whatever, whatever name they want to put on it. Yeah. If it's good, it's good. Yeah. That's all I care about. Mm. I don't. I don't label music. You don't put names on music. I think that's where we've gone wrong. Because I think jump up. The whole word of jump up is, is just to me just like using the word as a squat, like squat raves. Hmm. Yeah. The, 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 you know, it's 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 degrades. Yeah. What really is? Yeah. A squat rave is more than just some dirty little. Because my friends do um, illegal raves, and they call it creative space. I love them raves. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're my favourite. Yeah, raves. I, I had done, I had the guys up there yesterday. Mm. The whole guys from um, Starbase UK nice. who do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. Cool FM yesterday, just yesterday. So sick. On my radio show every Wednesday, I brought them up there. They sat down with me. and We spoke about on a legal station mm. and we spoke about creative space because we so we can't mention squats because no. people hear squats and they think of everyone in black all grungy on the floor drugs it's and like people... saying graffiti because people think the worst yeah and it's not like that no, I mean you not. have got that side but there's a there's a better side as well yeah that's right I agree it's not just one mm. like you think of these guys all in black all drugged out and mm. these girls all nasty and don't, ain't washed for you weeks and it's not like that no. they're police and they've got medics mm. and these guys love the scene and the kids ain't can't get into the clubs because yeah. they're too young, and they give them a platform. Porter toilets, all that business. This it's is proper. You can't call it squat raves and stuff like it's that. It's proper. Yeah. So for me, it's just, it's just about all that as well. Yeah. But I've seen a lot. Yeah, yeah. It must be mind bending. Like when you sometimes sit down, maybe with a Horlicks at the end of it, uh, end of a day, and you think to yourself, "Fuck, man, I thought I was, I thought I knew everything." But then Sansa happened tonight and I just thought, what yeah. the fuck? What the <laughs> what is that all about? I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I mean, like, I've seen more good than bad, thank God. You good. know what I mean? That's blessed. I've seen bad as well, mm. but I've seen more good nice. than bad. I've seen a lot of love. I've seen artists who I've known for 20, I mean, mm. art ravers I've mm. known for over 25 years. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about that. That is, now that, that is so, such a romantic idea that, mm. that, that, 
people were there on your journey, very yeah, similar to me, to be fair. But had luck, like, and they're still there, for, and oh, still coming to your and, they, and they bring their kids. That's so good. They all say like, "Brock, I'll bring my kids." I'm yeah. like, "Oh God, you make me really old now." <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy to be alive, so cool. Do you have kids? Yeah, I have got four. Four kids. Yeah, I got four. Busy two man, boys and two yeah, girls. Dad. Busy man. Now. Always Hackney. Always been from Hackney. Yeah, everyone in Hackney. Oh. I'm East London, isn't I? Yeah, come on. I, that's why I keep. That's why I stay. I'm E5. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. Move from me. Like, you know, I don't definitely don't go over the over the bridge. Community is everything, isn't it? Everything. I, I feel... And that, to me, that's where you know. Since they've taken up youth clubs, yeah, that's yeah. the whole community vibe. Community now is based on social media. Yeah, that's not is. community. That's yeah. fake. Coffee shops and and that's the that's, bistro bars. Yeah, and coffee shops all middle class and posh yeah, and plush. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean that's not about that. Yeah. You know yeah. so what, what what about the, the poor street kids. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, when I say yeah. street kids, I don't mean street as in they're rough. No, I mean, they just, you know what I'm saying? You know, just, yeah, just a no, saying. Exactly that's, you know what I'm saying? saying. As in street kids. What even about for them? the elders, even for the elders, you know what I mean? It's like there's, there's got to be more places for them to hang out at fucking William Hills and an Irish pub. Yeah. There's got to be more to life. And, yeah, yeah. and I think they've done that the opposite end with kids as well. Yeah. They've I mean, made it really hard. Yeah, and I think they've done it deliberately. Well, yeah. we know it's done deliberately. Yeah, yeah. You know, Maggie Thatcher said, take away this free milk and, t- yeah. and shut down the youth clubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was deliberate. Yeah. And she knew exactly what she was doing and why she was going to do it. Yeah. They and they make... knew it and they kept it going. Yeah. Mm. And of course they kept it going. All of them keep it going. If Labour win, they keep it going. Mm. Mm. They lie to us. You know, the best, in part, as you know in politics, mm. the best liar wins. Mm. <laughs> it's Basically. simple as that. Yeah. yeah, totally. It's simple as that, isn't it? Who lies the best wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in the last couple of years, Conservative lied the best, they won. Yeah. In America, Trump lied the best, he won. Yeah, that's right. You know, Obama lied the best, he won. Yeah, yeah. And then all the machine above just it, keeps on moving. Who lies the best? Mm. Wins, and that's Facts. and and we and, and the poor public as suckers yeah. t- t- listen to those lies yeah. and believe it. But but create the, and this goes back to the community values <laughs> of it all is um, in a world where we've got phones and we police ourselves. The one things we don't check on is our neighbours, and and these conversations that we talk about these are internal squabbles about politics. Mm-hmm. A lot of you know my friends you know I, I kind of you know I mute for a second. I'm like, bruv, you're not going to change. This, this argument only divides us, mm-hmm. you know, and in a world in which communities really should be mm. getting together, mm. yeah, I think power to the people, that's what I say, you know yeah. what I mean? It's a hard one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but community, you know, the rave scene was built on community. That's right. It was built on love for each other. Yeah. We didn't care what you was doing, what you was wearing. No. What sexual preference you are no. and what colour you are. No. What's happening now is that you know, they tried to make the rave scene look like the rave scene years ago was mm. against them things. Yeah. Like we was against. Oh um, yeah, big time. Like we was against um, um, gut trans trans transsexual guys or yeah. lesbians or gay guys. No, we wasn't. Yeah. But they made, they made the villain. They villainized the rave. Where did you the, the get rave. that from? Yeah, they villainized the rave in newspapers. They villainized the characters. And we wasn't against none of that. No. So, but now they try to make you know. So now they're pushing through all those agendas, like we was against it, yeah. and, and like no, we wasn't against it. No. And and when it goes down to um all that sort of side of things, like um, we was never you know the scene was never against anybody. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't care. <laughs> we didn't care if you was if you was a guy, you know, in drugs leggings. you took or anything. Didn't we care. don't care as long as you were there for the music and you're having a good time. Mm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Why would I care? <laughs> you love what I like. That's what matters to me. <laughs> We're in the same building. You like what I like. So we've got that bond. Mm. After, you know, when you leave the building, what you do in your private life, as long as you're not harming no kids or harming nobody, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my business to care. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I only care when you're in that building with me, I'm having a great time. And it's a vibe. How you're dressed, what colour you are, what sexual preference you got, I don't care care yeah. but as long as you don't push it on me or push it on anybody else around you yeah you know what i mean just be there for the music and enjoy yourself yeah, enjoy yourself vibes see that's what matters the rest all the rest is you know what's happening is that a lot of people now are using the music as a platform to push their agendas mm. and that's wrong yeah it's wrong you know what i mean i agree and that's what i that's what i'm seeing a lot mm. like you'll have um you know trans trans guys or you'll have lesbians or gay guys and they're using that pride thing to push their agenda mm. you know i don't care just push music mm. that's all i care about yeah. just push music and that. the rest will fit in place everything will make sense yeah but yeah. push the music show your skills i don't care what you wear mm. you know if you come up there and you 
smash it. That's all I care about. Yeah. Because what you forget is that if people don't see you, they only hear you. Yeah. They can only judge what they hear. That's right, 100%. And then you you may surprise you, you know you suddenly see Goldie nothing but gold crazy character yeah John B crazy relationship I love you John know I mean? everyone great. all of us love John yeah and but and this is the thing real characters I mean you know I I, I affect John's real real and I affectionately think they WWF characters you know they're yeah. the kind of people that that you want to see you want to see yeah. heroes in a particular way and, yeah but it's the music first isn't yeah. it it's the music and John's first. proven that to the, to the world yeah. With his music, mm. he's made that he's made anthems. Mm. He's a good DJ and a great producer, God, and he's a question. lovely human being. Mm. You know, if he wants to wear eyeliner and wear, you know have his woman's, I yeah. don't care. It's been proven. I don't care because you're a nice guy. Yeah, that's what matters to me. Yeah, you've never been um, spoken down to me. Nah. You've never been rude to me. You've always been polite to me. Mm. What you, you know, I know you don't harm nobody. You're not harming no one. So mm. I don't care if you want to wear makeup. Why mm. would I care? Mm. I walk down the street with you. Why wouldn't I? Look, because you wear makeup, I'm not going to talk to you. I don't, no, I'm not. Yeah. Man. That's too silly. That's too. That's weak. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's 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 the world that's got into my head to make me think like think that. like that. Yes, right. You know what I mean? Divide and conquer. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't work that way. And where we're from, we're from the road, so we know yeah. we can't work like that. Because yeah. that's, that's what they want to do. Divide that's and right. conquer. Yeah. You know. And there's us. codes to this road. As well, yeah, they are and if close. you've got if you've got these codes and you know what the codes are, you take them into the businesses, you take them into the musical genres, and you suddenly realise that okay, we've got good moral grounds here. Yeah, it's when the it's when the real codes disappear. But like I was saying, when it comes, yeah, I've seen it all. I've seen lots. I've been to raves where, of the violent side, of course. Mm. You know, we went through the whole shootings and. Yeah. Stabbings and every rave, it was house lights and Rough. tear gas. And... Uh, who was it? Foxy came on podcast and he told me a few stories of us. You can check the podcast as well, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's not a you know, selfless plug, but you know, we've got a lot of them. 500, baby, do the math. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it, it's crazy that era of just gunman behavior. Yeah, it was. And the reason why, you know, the same thing again, I don't, I don't, it's not the rave scene's fault. No. All it was is that the, um, the scene. Mm. The music, sorry, was popular. Mm. And anything that's popular is like if hip hop's the most popular thing on, in the street, mm. the street thugs are going to jam to it. Jam to it all the time, yeah. If the street thugs know that hip hop is where all the girls are, we're all going to hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't even like hip hop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're going because we're, we're, the, we're the bad man on the street. We're the gang guys. Yeah. We're, the, we're down. So we've got to be seen in the right places. We mm. don't even like the music. Mm. But Everyone else is there, so mm. we've got to be seen here. Mm-hmm. And that's what brought the troublesome side. But we mm. just knew that it wasn't the scenes for, we just said it's because the music was so popular mm. and everybody wanted to be part of it and want yeah. a piece of it and want to be seen around it. And that's what brought the, um, the street guys yeah. in. The don't tread on my shoes kind of characters. Yeah, and not just that. A lot of when we first got into the scene, like when I first got into the scene, a lot of the street guys. You know, with my friends. Yeah. Because that's where I come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between yeah. me and you, you know, I'm not, not between you, so it's a podcast. I, <laughs> no, no, keep, I, keep on going, Brox. I know, yeah. sorry about between that. Between you yeah. and me. <laughs> I've never had a job in my life. Yeah. I've never ever in my whole life done nine to five. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so I always say to people, it's amazing. if I've never done nine to five in my life, what do you think I've done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's not even go down that road. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I came into the scene, I had them friends with me. Mm-hmm. You know, I, the friends that were going to come to the club, yeah, they yeah. got a gun on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got to say to them, you can't come in with me with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, no, why not, Brox? There's about someone in there, like, no, 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 because I'm bringing you in. Mm, mm, mm. You go in and shoot someone. You're not representing video. me. Yeah. I'm, in tr- I'm finished. My yeah. career's over before it even starts. Yeah. Represent me. Yeah. Do this. I said, you can't yeah. do that. So it takes years to, to break off, not break off, but for them friends to understand, you know what, Brox is serious about this. Mm. We're on the street. He's not no more. We're going to allow him. Mm. We're going to... We don't even like the music anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we're yeah. never going to go there with them no more. We're going to let him do his thing. And that's what happened with me. And that's what happened with a lot of us, why there was a lot of trouble in the raves as well. Because a lot On of that the entry. artists had them friends with them still. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, this makes a lot and of sense. And a lot of friends were letting friends bring in guns into the club because you weren't getting search. Because we're coming through the back door or we're just going through. And that's why security started to search the DJ because... Do you think music is inherent in the streets? Do you think it's just a soundtrack, isn't it? Yeah. That's all it ever has been. 100%. So it's whatever's flavour. Yeah. But and they don't care for it. Nah. They don't care. Most of them don't care. No, it's I, just, it's popular. Yeah. I mean, one time, this guy came to book me in debt. So mm. 
I um, um, went through the agency this is mm. years ago. This mm. is it's like a, we didn't know nothing about it. So he's gone through the agency. He's paid top money for us yeah. on a Sunday. So we're like, wow, okay. Mm. Gone down there. It's a christening. We're like, what the <laughs> hell is this? It's a christening. Wow. But this guy is about 50, but he's got a 20-year-old girl, but he's top gang guy. Wow. Leader. Wow. What? His girlfriend loves Brocky and Debt. Young girl. Oh, I love Brocky and Debt. Okay, I'll get them. I'm a bad man. How much it costs? A couple grand. Okay, not a problem. I book them. You know what I'm saying? Incredible. So we, we got all the way to Birmingham, got there. What? It's a christening. That's incredible. Big hall. People sitting around. We're like, oh no. What are we doing here? How are we? Yeah. So it goes back to one of those stories yeah, that I was talking what about. what are we like, doing here? What have I got myself what, what, into? What, 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 oh no. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, Debt's gone on. The same night we got Jungle Fever. So mm. we've gone on. Hours gone. I'm like, Debt, we have to go. Let's get back to London for Jungle Fever. Debt's like, Brox, what's up? I'm like, it's not going to happen. I'm like, why not? He said, you see that guy there with the hoodie? I'm like, yeah, he just took a Uzi out and said, you're not getting nowhere. <gasps> and I was like, are you serious? He said, Brox, that guy right there, don't rail up Brox. He just took his Uzi out and said, we're not going. So we had, to, we had people in there who we knew. So we had to let people know, like, basically, basically cut a long story short, we missed Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. I mean, missed London. Right. We weren't getting out just like that. No, 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 no. We had to, I literally had to leave a tune on and kick. We had to get out of there. They weren't letting us go. So what, he, did you bail? You just bailed? We, we took my music, but I left a tune on the left. He said to us, the money he paid for us, don't forget he's coming from reggae. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. He thought, he said, the money I paid for you, you're supposed to pay till next week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I get you. Not one hour. He's like, you're mad. I paid you grand. You want to pay for one hour? Is that some shit? Is no, 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 no. You ain't getting nowhere. So the guy took his Uzi and said, you ain't getting nowhere. So we called our friends who were there. They spoke to a few people. And we managed to, he said, look, you're right, like, you've got to play for another hour then. We're like, we can't do that. We're going to miss our, our Jungle Fever set. They're like, mate, bro. bro make, make it happen. <laughs> just, just, I think it's best off. you just play for another hour and just leave it as that. So we played for about another uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, and left the tune on and sneaked out and gone. Oh, my. But going back to, that's how popular the music was, <sighs> where this gang guy, mm. doesn't know, but could his girlfriend, Brocky and Debt, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how... That's how bad it got. You know what I mean? Where you got all these gang people involved. Mm. But the music was so popular, and that's what happened. Popularity, see? That's what it's that's crazy, what, isn't it? Crazy. That's the maddest that, story that, I've heard. I mean, that's, that's what, yeah, that's nothing. I mean, I've been in debt, me, Swift. When we first went to Manchester, Sankey Soap, they shoot, we know, yeah, yeah, don't forget, yeah. we, I, we, they're wearing hockey masks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen no one in a hockey mask in Rave my life. And they got flamethrowers no. in a rave. That just sounds some sort of fucking... What? It was... Sanky Salt was apocalyptic. the most dangerous place I've ever yeah, been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit scares me. So, I said this on the Foxy one. It's like, as soon as you see Trigger, you feel safe. You're like, thank God he's here. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you know you're, the, the locals are in. When they're in and they got hockey masks and... Yeah, no. <laughs> you're like, whoa. <laughs> big, up, big up Trigger, by the way. Yeah, yeah said, Trigger. You know yeah, I mean, and they were shooting from the ceiling. Yeah. Taking live rounds in the building. You're like, well, I also want to get back to London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, scary shit. But they would give us a bit of respect. But I've had a gun put to me more like in my whole career. I had one guy, my friend, who was off his head, and I was playing um one of Shy Apex's um This is how it should be done. And he wanted he kept saying to me to rewind, and I'm like, that's enough. Yeah. And he was off his head, so he took his gun out and said to me, like, Brock, so wow. you know, he he said sorry afterwards. It's too late, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? He didn't take it out. He just went like that and lift up his top. What? I said, play, rewind it again. Wow. And I'm like, bruv, he's my friend, but he's off his head. He's buzzing. That's the power of music, that. That's the power of music when it gets people... Yeah, like he that. got violent, you know, like, he weren't going to do nothing, mm. but I said to him, you should never have done that. He said, he said, I don't remember doing it. I said, that's, a, that's worrying because I'm your friend. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you don't remember showing me, you know, you're, you know, he's like, I said, brother, you put up your top. Yeah. I said, even though you haven't got a gun in the building. I said, how do you get that in in the first place? You, you came with me with that. He's like, no. I'm like, what, 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 what's, yeah, yeah. What's it for? What's then? it for then? Mm. And, and he showed me it, and that was because he wanted to rewind. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I've been in places where the, the, you know, we got there, and the guy would say to us, um, "Don't play too much tunes that are gonna get them hyped." This is one time we was in um, Derby, mm. and Brian G was on after me. Big up Brian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the guy's like, "Don't play nothing too hype." Mm -hmm. So I said to Brian, Brian. Don't play nothing too hype because the crowd's ready to let off. Yeah. Brian puts Warhead on. 
It was like, okay, corral. <laughs> boom, boom. I'm like, later. Wow. I'm out of here. Pure gunshots. But the guy warned us. Because in country, them times, yeah. their salute was gunshots. In London, we weren't doing that. You know, London raves, you didn't take your gun no, out and shoot. No. But and up north, they were still doing it's that just whole... just the thing, yeah. Shoot the guns in the air yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, people getting sawn offs and... Yeah. It was a, it was a regular thing. Yeah. With all the gang guys that all turned up. But we knew the gang guys because they had respect for artists. Yeah. What about the gang guys? They had, they, we're not there for, for trouble, innit? We're no. there to make people dance. Yeah. So they respected us. Yeah, that's and right. And that's what saved a lot of us over the years because they had respect for us. Like, yeah, man, they're man, they're, man, they're cool, man. I watch them. They're man, they're... Respect for the, 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 the people music. making yeah. the music. Yeah, and we, make, we come to make people dance. Yeah. And we're not, do, we're not troublesome. We're not bad, man. We just want to play, you know, we're just yeah. DJs. So they yeah. had respect for that. Well, I mean, that, that harks back to sound system culture. And yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I think a lot of people, you know, their parents grew up on that, yeah. and so they understand that there's that's a protocol. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And up north, they were still much into the South Simpson culture. And yeah. London, we, we've gone beyond It'll that. Beyond it, yeah. But in north, it's still, up, up, up country, it's still that because you've got yeah. Bassman, you've got yeah. Spider, yeah. Trigger, yeah. Woo. and the whole way the MC is, is yeah. based on that sound system. That's right. And we, you know, the first time we ever heard Bassman mm. and Palmer the Charmer. Wow. When we first heard him, I was like. Ooh, mm. the girls ain't gonna like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We know that, so we're like, they ain't gonna like yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. You know, yeah. big up bass. Cause they, cause they, when he came to London, yeah. him and Palmer and the Charmer, yeah. you know, Trigger went even with them like that. No, it's no, Palmer no. and Bass, but the first two wow. I've ever heard talk slackness. Yeah. Yeah. That's, as you know, it's a yeah. red sound system. It's yeah, a reggae yeah, thing. Yeah, it's nothing yeah. in reggae. Yeah. But in our music, that's I've like never something else. Heard. I know. When we first heard bass, man. Genre-defining like, moments like yeah, that. Yeah, we're like, wow. take out your... I'm like, yeah. what did you just say? <laughs> did you just say... Can I say... Yeah, you did say you just say vagina? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, I'm sure you didn't just... Did it. And then all the girls are like, ugh, yeah. nasty. And we're like, but we're busting up laughing mm. and we think it's amusing. We're like, wow, we can't believe you just said that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clear the floor that. The... Uh, the one in hip hop was Two Live Crew and people like that, wasn't yeah. it? They, they would just brazenly say it and sell you know, a million copies of records. But to, to put, do it in a dance and with a, a global audience, they, yeah, that's a, that's that's impressive. <laughs> we they blew us away. Mm. They were the first um, bass and palm were the first people I heard to chat slackness yeah. from up north. Crazy. And we thought it weren't going to last, but as you can see, they came down and they, yeah. they, they smashed it. And I think lyrically, from a from an accent point of view, I often feel like. For MCing purposes, a northern accent really fucking works. works. Do you know what I mean? Like Nottingham, real good. Di- you see, like they got a kind of a me- almost a curl on their um, on their syllables, working the same um, yeah. as, a, as an American. Oh, no, it works. I, I love. And it. Londoners love them. Yeah, exactly, it's true. You know, yeah. Londoners, especially London girls. Yeah, yeah. They love them. Yeah. They love that Birmingham, Manchester. Yeah. Not in her accent. They love it. And us, our southern boys like the northern girls too. <laughs> how, how, right, so, how far back do you and Det go? Um, we lived opposite each other. Forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah not forever. Um, I was doing something before Det. I had a guy named MC Koji. Okay. He used to work with me yeah, when yeah. I first started, with, um, and he kind of he dropped off. And then I brought Det on. Because I knew his brother, I, um, his, his big brother named Aubrey, and I used to work with him. Mm-hmm. And we had to come in his house and we just sit down and play rare grooves together. Rare, so did you, because Det informs me, and this was only on a phone call, you understand, big up Det again. Uh, he used to break dance. He used to be a break dancer. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He, he used to b-boy. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he used to, that's where he's from. That's crazy. Yeah, that's where he's from. So he used to break dance and rare and, groove. and Yeah, that's where he's from. And that's his brother. That's what I'm, you know, like I said, that's what I'm from. I'm from Rare Grooves. Rare Grooves, Rare. I like to play Rare Groove on Eastman Sound. Well, like SOS Band and things like that. Yeah, Shalomar, oh. Barcase, <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, go him now. Rene and Angela. Yeah, even Mantronic. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the I The original do. first album. No, you ain't got to tell Beastie me what Beastie the... Boys with a tune that span back. Pointer Sisters. Things yeah. like that. Yeah, when so... the Beastie Boys and that track that span back, yeah. it was like... Wow, uh, blew us away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such Game a simple changing. thing to do, but yeah. no one ever done it. Nah. They were the first to do it. Yeah. They spun the tune back and rap. Like, simple things. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, so that's where I'm from. Wow. I'm from all, oh, that's where I'm from. You know, I'm, I'm from. See the polo scully hat. See, yeah. you should know by now. Yeah. Street veterans. I'm from there and from, from techno. I'm from yeah, techno. Because that's, right. that's where hit j- drum and bass was forced Yeah, that's from. where it came from. Because I remember distinctively Happy Hardcore Era, your name was about. Yeah, like, was, yeah. Same with um, uh, Slipmat yeah. and, 
um, SS and yeah, Fabio yeah, and, you yeah. know, your name was all in the mix, but from a from a happy hardcore place. Yeah, yeah. Because we said, I have to play with them. Yeah. You know, back in the days, you know, the rave scene would yeah. be a happy hardcore guy on, yeah. then maybe a techno guy, then a, a jungle guy, yeah. then back to a happy hardcore. I love that. I love that. That was the versatility, best days. Yeah. I always say, to, it's a shame that the ravers are so spoilt now. Mm. You know, if they have a flyer and it's not glossy, mm. when I say glossy with a thousand names, they don't even want to come out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think perpetuated that? I think universities back in the day when freshers, like yeah. the, the midnight, the mid noughties, freshers, they used to ramp up the thing and it was like a pound fifty for a Red Bull and vodka. Yeah. And they all just used to go because the tickets were pretty much free and they used to have these crazy lights. It became a bit of a culture, yeah. didn't it? And but for me, it's, it's, it's as an artist, of course, it's good for me and you because we get paid and we get, we get more work. But as an artist, if I'm playing out somewhere, there's nothing better for me, for an artist, mm. to express themselves it's like if you're doing your thing and a guy on before doing exactly the same, you know, you're still going to do your thing. Mm. It might be better if someone was on before you were doing something different. Yeah. Because now you can really shine. You shine anyway. Yeah. But he gets a chance to shine. Yeah. And it's, and it's his, his thing. But when it's all the same, 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 yeah. you can't get the time, you, you know, you can't, you can't shine. And that's why I always think the multicultural race, not, not multicultural, multi-gender race, mm. to me are the best up to that's now, are still the best one. Yeah, I agree. You know, like you'd have a guy playing hip hop, reggae, jungle, yeah. or house, or techno, but it's, it's, it's changes. Yeah. Instead of just the same, boom, 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 same BPM, same BPM, same BPMs. Yeah. Because people ain't got the attention for that nowadays anyway. You listen to, check out their Spotify playlist, and it'll be a whole bunch of stuff. So you just, like you say, it's, it's about genre bending. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's, those were the best times yeah. for me, you know what I mean? It, the, the crowd now, the, the, the ravers are spoiled. Mm. You know what I mean? And they, they don't know how spoiled they are in England <laughs> until you go abroad. Yeah. And they see the lineups. They're like, oh my God, I'd pay my life to be on that. Yeah, or be there. Yeah. And I'm like, this is every week. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is nothing. He's like, yeah, to you it's nothing, bro. It's because you've got your guys live there and live there. But we, for us, it's like, yeah. my, look at that. I mean, um, the, the, one of the more significant moments from a drum and bass point of view with me, it was the world of drum and bass when we'd go places, with SS, we'd go places like Australia yeah, or yeah, Canada. Yeah. And they don't have that kind of drum and bass lineup. But SS was really good at kind of choosing the right lineups. Yeah, to make sure it works. Yeah. yeah. As a full night. And then you'd, see, you know, you'd be like, Brocky Shy Effects, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, these people that come to see these events, they'd be like, we don't have it on, a single one of you guys yeah. on any given night. Like, to see this many. It was such a. It was. It was humbling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Those are the. Those are the. For me, yeah. are the best parties. You mm. know what I mean? When it's it's multi genre, mm. lineup, mm. Where everyone at, at the top of their field, doing what they do, mm. instead of it all being the same, all of us all the same. You know, we all. Mm. Comp you know, because as I always say, when we're all there, we you know you can you we compete. Mm. All artists compete. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Some guys try to you know some guys. Are humble about it, and some have got big heads about mm. it. You know what I mean? Like, but we all compete. If if I'm if I'm if you're playing and I'm playing after you, and I don't want to better you, and you, what's the point? Mm. And if you don't want to better the guy before you, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, the rave doesn't pick up. There's no, this doesn't go go up and up. Goes and up. with that energy. Do, yeah, do, do, do. you got to compete. Not, there's a, there's a, there's a, but it's, a, it's healthy compete. It's not. Yeah. I don't want to better you. I just go. Wow, you smashed it. I got to step up. I have to step up because you smashed it. If I don't think like that, what's the point? Mm. For me, I have, but, but to me, it's, it's how you show it. You know, if you, you know, as long as you show, show the guy respect, like, you know, if you was on, I'm like, wow, that was really good. Mm. Oh, you smashed it, bro. I've got to step up now. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Because you made me have to step up. But if you were just sitting there doing your thing, da, 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 know, you know, I might yeah. feel the same. Yeah. So I always say competing with each other is healthy, as long as it's done in a healthy way. Not like I want to better you or I'm better than you or, or, or um, you know, I'm going to smash you. No, I want to be on par with you. Because mm, I'm here for a reason. Yeah, I want to be on the same, I want to be on par with you. You know, I don't want to lower, the, lower it. Mm. I want to be on the same level as you. And if people appreciate me a bit more, mm. so be it. Mm. But I want to be on the same level as you because you stepped up, the, so I've got to step up with you. That's I how it looks, you know. It. It's, to me, it's about being healthy. It's healthy competition. There is an etiquette. To John yeah. and, and I noticed that, you know, compared to hip hop um, nights, you know, it's almost like the, the handshakes, the vibes, the energy, the, I th and I think it is a competitive spirit. That's what I guess 
well, that's that's what I'm getting from even mm. the conversation here. There is a competitive spirit in the place, almost like um, it's business. Yeah, it's business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I said I even said that to my all my all artists, up and coming artists. Says don't. There's nothing wrong with one. You know, if I'm playing and you're coming after me, that you want to smash me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No. But just don't tell me. <laughs> Oh, so I really oh, oh, don't go fucking... and tell your friends afterwards. Yeah. Or don't go on social media mm. and write, oh my, I smashed that, that I, you know, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Or don't talk about how you play better than other artists. Don't ever do that. No. That's when you that's when it that's when you lose points. Yeah, that's right. It's in the it's in the ear of the Just beholder. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. It's all down to the audience at the end of yeah, the day. Yeah, keep that's right. But whatever you got, however you think you played, keep it to yourself. It's sound system attitude though, isn't it? And it harks back many, 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 yeah. many, many years. Keep it, I mean, I hate the guys that go online and, oh, I killed that, I smashed it. That's your opinion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you know the public, the public pen day thinking like you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know that? Yeah. Uh, that, that, I hate when I see, mm. when a lot of artists do it. You yeah. know what I mean? They go on there, oh my, I ripped that place to a new one and, oh my God, and what about the guy that they've already asked before you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. They, was they crap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you're doing that, you're putting them down. You know, yeah. you could talk about you had a great set and you think you really played well, but don't talk about how you destroyed the whole building. Mm. What about the guys before you? Do you think there's a responsibility within the dancer as a DJ to honour the the overall yeah, aspect? Yeah, 100%. The genre? Yeah. On, mm. on, on, like I said to everybody, if if I say to my guys, when they like these young and up-and-coming guys, like, don't matter whatever stage you're playing on, you know, if you're playing with Jay-Z... Don't ever think you're a lesser person than Jay-Z because mm -hmm. you're on the same stage. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Yeah. Don't think anything else. You're on the same stage as, um, you know, Andy C, mm -hmm. just say. Mm -hmm. Don't think Andy's better. Don't start getting your mindset like, oh, my God, Andy C. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't think like that because you're on the same stage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So think, like, think positive. Think about yourself and how you're going to play well for yourself because I'm on the same stage. Don't ever think I'm oh, below someone because they, you they're, because they got they're a bigger artist than you. Yeah. Once you're on the same stage, they're not no bigger artist than you. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, all yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah. And you're there for a reason. There's a purpose for why you're there. That's this is a, this this is age and wisdom, mm. isn't it? Um, you know, I I feel like we're speaking to the youngers in yeah, even definitely. bringing this up because I think it's key. It's key to everyone's progression. Yeah. Within the scene. Yeah. Um. But there's also something really romantic, like just going back to the aerosol uh, charity event with Det and uh, Frosty and, and Brian and, and, and Ragga Twins, Tipper, all the guys. And, and I was just there thinking, yeah, man, a 20 year younger me would have thought to myself, fucking hell. I'm not going to go near yeah. that. But something about being with your contemporaries and that feeling like acceptance yeah but you stole the show but but, but it was yeah thank you you did that. i'm telling you reason being because you coming from somewhere else and you joined in to show your love for something else you love you know what i mean yeah. with, 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 with what, what you do the beatbox and everything yeah, yeah so you know and but everyone out all of us lot that's why they, they loved it yeah, yeah, yeah. and they use everyone's using your video mm. to share yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's something it's not just one of us, you yeah, know, they're yeah. doing the same thing. Oh, it's bringing it across. Tipper did the same thing actually on that night as there well. You it was go. crazy, yeah. And just to just to see that because he came on podcast and he was like, "Yo, I just didn't, I didn't know how I was going to do what I did, but, but it's him seeing, so we yeah. just do it." Yeah, and, yeah, and I kind of get that with them um, with the beatboxing as well. It's so adaptable mm. um, from a DJ point of view. It's very adaptable, mm. and you, you, especially in them environments, you play things that are just. That make you happy. Yeah, yeah it's not yeah. because it's not because it's the certain protocol. Yeah, or because it, this is the newest song. It was what makes you happy. It's what makes you. That's is yeah. that the best? Yeah. for an artist. Yeah, is it hope so? Yeah, I try to do things that make me happy. Like yeah. you know, I don't play music because it's 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 the pop big like big popular tune. You know, I play music I like. It makes mm. me happy. Mm. I don't play because someone says, "Oh, Brock, your payments are happy because." Then 40 people go dance to it. Mm. No, I'm not going to play it. Because it doesn't make me happy no more. No. So I'm not playing it. I'm not going to I mean, why should I? What's your, what's your most happiest... What's your happy place of a song that you'd play? The song? Yeah. With music I play? It doesn't have to be drum and bass. It can be anything. Um, um, oh, God. Oh, no. My yeah. favourite tunes. Yeah. Um, um, like I saw Frosty... Scott La Rock, I've got Soul. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay. I, I go back in it. Yeah, I'm go, old, go, I'm go. old, you know, so I go right, old school. Now we're talking, now we're cooking yeah. on gas. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. You Any, know, more, um, more? G-Star, um, um, G, you know, like G-Star, um, Gangsta. Um, when, it, um, when it comes, I just love music, innit? So it's hard to like, um, my favourites is so hard. When it comes to drum and bass or, or jungle, I would say my favourite... Um, oh, era. We we'll go era. We can go era. Yeah, um, ninety three. Mm. Ninety three, ninety four. I was banging them tapes up, bro. Yeah. Crazy. When it comes to jungle, ninety. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to um, changing into drum and bass, two thousand. Really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a pretty good. When era. it kind of let me more pendulum, new has it is. You know? Yeah. It was still it had energy. It didn't go too. Ed rushing up to. Yeah. Kind of they made some wicked wormhole. Yeah. Oh come on. Yeah. Blew us away. Ben Forces still had their position. It was yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, they were brilliant artists. Yeah, they still are brilliant artists. Yeah, yeah. I still see. I saw them up just a couple of weeks ago. I played out with them. Yo. It's such a beautiful thing yeah. that they're still out there doing, which they should be because they made they they made groundbreaking music. They really did. That changed the whole thing. It made me beatbox drum and bass. Yeah, that whole that that whole wormhole era. I was like, oh right. So they got sounds that are so industrious. I really. They was ahead of their time. Yeah. You know, we need, you know, them, bad company, mm. you know, even even down to Pendulum. Yeah. When they came and done that little thing for us in England with Walt mm. and a few other tunes. Crazy. Yeah. When they done the tune they done with Spider. Yeah. Tarantula. Woo. Yeah. He didn't get his props, but, you know no, what I mean? But that was an iconic song. It still is. Yeah. It's the biggest, um, maybe not now, because Bad Dance come along, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Would you, well, that resets everything, doesn't mm. it? Um, and... We kind of highlighted a little, we talked a little bit about it, not in a negative way, but mm -hmm. we talked about it before jumping on is just the, the era of social media and how, I guess in many ways, it kind of draws a line in the sand for every yeah. time a new platform comes along. Like it, it, it suggests that the first people to get on that platform become the, 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 the OGs. When those ones before that just because they didn't get on the platform, yeah. then they're kind of discredited. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's hundred percent. I mean, social media has, has, has done good and bad for the scene. Mm. It's done good um, because it's put the scene out there to more, you know, mi more millions. Yeah, but it's done bad because it's made a lot of faked artists. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Who aren't really artists? Mm. You know, they only got into it because it was popular. Mm. Because they now they can plug their phone in and mm. buy a controller and mm. show off to the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they can cheat. I call it. I call that cheating because mm. to me, you got to do the, the, the homework first. Well, cue cue jumping, really. Yeah, isn't it? cue it's jumping. Q, yeah. Q jumping. Instead of cheating, that's about yeah. yeah. Cue jumping. Yeah. More specifically, and social media. Some I people that. that know social media inside out. Yeah. Because they they've been to um, university and and learn business skills. Yeah. Then the poor guy who hasn't got business skills, but he's a better artist. Yeah. He's a, yeah. Technically, much better. Put much more work into it, but because that guy's gone to university and learned business skills, yeah. he's going to get further. And and it's not just music as well. We know that's in yeah. in, 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 in life in life in, in general life, in general now. And that, to me, that's that's where mm. the world that's where life's going wrong. Yeah, life is going wrong with that, isn't Put, it? On that level of side, because talent has to shine. Yeah. Before popularity, to me, yeah. you've got to be, you know you know because someone's popular, and then you've got someone who's more talented than them, but because yeah. they're not so popular, you know, me and you know the guy yeah. that's got the more popular yeah. is going to get pushed through than the yeah. guy with the talent. All day. And it's a shame. It's a shame. Class as well. I think, you know, when you've got, when you've got a background, like there's nothing wrong with class or no class. The, the, my point I'm making is if you're, I don't think, I don't, <laughs> here's my point. Mm -hmm. I don't think the world is ready for another Sex Pistols or Oasis. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're ready for another Skinny Man. I don't think they're ready for like, I don't think they're ready for many people from a class and world that, that would actually cause friction. No. That would say what they really felt. No, the last person that done that was Wiley. Look what done to yeah, him. Yeah, look what done to him, right? That's exactly Says the it point. All, That's it? exactly the point. They don't, they don't want to hear it. They, they don't, don't want they don't want working they, class people. Well, no. <laughs> they don't want no working class. The, the bigot bosses are like They don't even like us talking like no, this. No, they don't. Like, <laughs> Wiley says it all to me. Yeah. Look what done to him. Yeah. Yeah, because because he said something that they said was um, uh, what's the word? Because his manager was Jewish, mm. so they used that against him. Yeah, but what he's what Wiley wasn't um condemning all Jewish people. No. He was just condemning his manager. And then and it just so happened his manager's Jewish. So and that, what? And ironically, in a in a twist to all of this is 
Kanye West said a hell of a lot more worse things, and he's just got booked for some shows, and his album's coming out as if nothing, uh, nothing happened. He said a lot worse. So what the f was that? Was that signal? You because know, he's got because he's more powerful. See, what I'm saying. So it's a class thing. Yeah, it's 100. percent There was class within the, within the rave scene. Yeah, you know, as, as, and we don't want that. No, that's the problem. You know what I mean? We don't none want, of us want it. Yeah, I mean, what's happening now is that when I the, the, the biggest side of the class scene to me is that a lot of the kids now. You know, like, it, so if if you get into the scene, into music, mm. through the love of music, mm. you know, that meaning that, you know, you might be sitting, that your brother might be playing it, mm. or your friend might be doing beatboxing, mm. and you love it, mm. and you pick it up. Mm. You know, you don't, you, and, and because you want to do that. Mm. But if you get into it on a, with a, with a, um, a business plan, mm. that's wrong. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's what's happening now. Mm. Everyone, a lot of people got a, a plan. Social media plan. A bit, they got a thingy plan. Yeah. They got a plan for this. Yeah, yeah, it's all plans. Which is fine. It, which, but because that's acumen. But like the music suddenly goes. Yeah, we're spexy. not. I'm not fighting because I can't fight against it. Because mm. that's the way the world is now. Everything's changed. Mm. But for me, it's just about it, it's not authentic. Mm. You know, you planned it. It didn't happen naturally. Mm. It wasn't a vibe where it happened. You planned for this to happen. And you schemed and snaked and worked your mm. way for that to happen. Mm. It weren't natural. Like, all of a sudden, it's just natural. Mm. Like, I remember when I first was playing out, and I was playing out for years. One New Year's Eve, I got booked um, to do New Year's Eve. And mm. I remember that New Year's Eve, before the news came up, all of a sudden, my phone was ringing off. <laughs> so I'm not used to this. <laughs> like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> We're going to book you for New Year's Eve, bro. We're going to book you. We're going to book you. Next person, we're going to book you. All the big raves I knew I was in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know when you just know? Just, just yeah. I'm in. For all the right reasons. I'm in. And debt's in. Mm. We knew. Mm. Because we didn't plan this to happen. Mm. It just happened at the blue. Synergy. Yeah, they just picked up on it. <sighs> we're going to book you, Brock, in debt. You sure? Mm. No, you sure about it. No, Rose. All, the, all mm. the big parties booked us. I knew we was in. Mm. But before we got to that, I remember we got booked for Rose, me and Debt, and so we've gone to Rose. This is the this is the side, you know, this time when my head was growing. Yeah, yeah. But the ego was kicking in now. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking I'm, I'm the big DJ Brocky of Cool <laughs> FM. I'm not even playing out yet, but I'm playing that little thing, but I'm still getting, getting, yeah, getting yeah, all yeah. the friends in your ears. I'm still young. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm still I'm still in my twenties. And also the era as well. You yeah. can you can be led to believe because this this was the main yeah, lane. And there was no social media. Nah, that's right. It was all done by word of mouth. Yeah. And skills. You have skills, yeah. you get celebrated. Yeah. yeah. That's right. There was no one could see it unless they came to the club. That's right. And paid their money. Yeah. There was or went onto the radio, yeah. you know, and, and sat there with their recorder and pressed it every time there was yeah. someone spoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Other than that, you're not going to get to hear us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was just, it was, for me, it was, oh, I was going to say now again about that. I'm telling you, when I started getting into it, I started losing Oh, yeah, yeah, so you were getting loads of gigs before you know it. When New Year's, on to yeah, on to yeah, yeah, sorry, so the yeah. phone rang off and I knew he was in. I knew. I and mean, yeah, sorry, I'll go back to that role. So Rose, when these promoters, when they first booked us, they didn't put us, you know, they were my friends. Mm. They still put me in room two. <laughs> or room three with the in the cloakroom. And that's what a friend's supposed to do. Yeah. A real friend. Because you're edge rank and you build. Yeah, from you're a real friend. Not supposed to feel like, right, you're straight to number one. Room one, prime time. Yeah. No. A yeah. real friend is like, you know what, bruv? You're my boy. Yeah. Start in room two. Yeah. Show your worth. Let's see what you're about. Let's see if you can stick that. Let's see if you're going to get um, hold it down and not get upset and go behind my back and start cussing me for being me putting Ooh, you in room two. That, see, now that is calculatively clever. I rate that from a promoter's point of view as well. Yeah, let me see. And that's why people do things like that. They put you in a position to see what you're going to do, your reaction. Yeah. How are you going to talk about it? Yeah. How are you going to react to me? You're going to act like a little bitch? Me? Or are you yeah. going to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the word. I, I yeah. try to be polite. But yeah, yeah. you're going to be a bitch or not? You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? And then if you, if you, if you, like I say, they put us in room two, me and Rose, and me and Det, me and got there. Uh, my ego's kicked in. I'm thinking I'm the big DJ. Got there, you're in room two, Brock. So like, what? <laughs> you, what? That's like, nah, boy, let's just do it. Rammed it out. <laughs> We brought everyone out from room one into room two. I fucking never love looked back it. afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Never <laughs> ever done room two for Rose again after that. Wow. Ever, ever, ever. Game ever, ever. changed everything. Because we came there, show what we are worth from room two and got to room one. 
you know, when it comes to the clasping now, a lot of these guys don't want to do the graph. No, they, they want to go straight to room one. Fast track. Yeah, and if they can't get into room one, they don't even want to do it. Mm. They're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do that no more. It's not I'm good like, enough for me. No, it's not good enough for me. I don't want to do it no more. Interesting. We had to work. We had to work. And like you said, there was a class thing. Yeah. And the class thing for me is just more where a lot of people, a lot of more middle class people get into it. And mm. that's why I'm talking about that level now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where people that got mummy and daddies mm. who got money behind mm. them, you know, mm. I, which is understandable because the generations have changed. Yeah. Our generation, my generation, my mum and dad, they had no money for me. No, 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 no. It was just about paying the bills and keeping us warm and feeding yeah, us. Yeah, I'll second that he quite, quite happily. It's, it's <laughs> there was none really, of that. <laughs> yeah, there's none of that. None of that. Like, here's, a, here's, here's 500 pounds worth of yeah. grand. Go and buy some decks. They were happy to see me make money off of music because they thought, well, he's fucked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, that's right. He's fucked it. He's left school and he's fucked it. Yeah, you know? my mum was proud. Yeah. My mum couldn't believe it when, yeah. I made, when I made a living out of it. Yeah, she yeah. said all her friends. She couldn't believe it. That's my mum's right. like, my son's a DJ. Yeah, same as. She crazy. couldn't believe it. She's like, you make money out of that? I said, mum, I'm going around the world. <laughs> ah, that boom boom <laughs> like, that boom boom and then put in the ceiling and I have to hear me what I'm like mum uh, that boom boom is paying me money yeah, 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 yeah. she couldn't believe it mm. but she was so happy because it took me off the street yeah that's right she, put, it was, she was just so happy all an unexpected turn could happen but at least you're doing music and you're fulfilling your, your commitment to what you believe is yeah, right yeah 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 it's not even dreams because we've all got dreams, but you've got to apply yourself to them yeah, dreams. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. But when it goes yeah. back to the class, um, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I'm saying, a lot of people could they, they're fast tracks now because mm. they've got big machines behind them, so they can be fast tracked. Mm. But being fast tracks not always the way forward because you come back quicker. You, yeah, you're not gonna last. No. Why? Because you haven't built a found base yeah. or foundation underneath you. That's right. That's gonna hold you up. Yeah. You know, I've been in this like you know like you. I've been doing this now. This, this year be 33 years. 33 years. Celebrate that. You know, 33 years I've been on Cool FM. Wow. This, this May will be 33 years. originals. No, so. Yeah, November. Yeah, I'm from, wow. the, from, from the cockroaches. From the jump, yeah. And jumping the buildings and running from the DTI, running from the police. Yeah. You, know, people, you know, people getting killed. Yeah. I'm from that era. I've been with Cool for 32 years. Yeah. So I had to, you know. I mean, my, the association of Cool FM and you, they're just parallel. I've always seen. Yeah. You know, it's as good as yours. It's yeah. like... Yeah, well, I am, uh, of course, you know... Do you know what I'm saying? And the reason I've been in call for so long, because my best friend ran it. Mm. Eastman. Mm. 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 Hold tight, Eastman. Hold tight, yeah. Eastman. All you know day. I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and Eastman ran it with Smurf. Mm. But that's why I was on there, because I'm a guy that, if you're my pal, you're my pal, you know? You know who introduced me to call him? Shocking. Yeah, I met yeah. Shocking, Shocking for the first time. Yeah, I met Shocking for the first time when he... <laughs> And I was really young. I must have been about seventeen or eighteen. Mm. Pick up shocking, you know. That's if I mean him go back. He, his um his brother was intense from the Berry Crew. Yeah, I remember his brother. Yeah. I've been to his house in um, yeah. up in um, sure it's intense. Yeah, yeah Holloway them yeah, size. Yeah, that's it? It. exactly yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that's how that that's how the fault lines worked. And yeah, from that moment there, it was just like wow, Pandora's box. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, like going back to I like you going back to, but um. Yeah, I mean, it's just the way, you know, because the students got into it as well. Mm. When they started doing the student parties, yeah, that's what changed the whole scene again. The dynamic shifted. Yeah, it changed yeah. completely because now you've got the students who want to be DJs. And yeah. The promoters are starting to, they're thinking more student mm. So they're thinking maybe, you know, change the sound. Mm. You know, we need that sort of looking guy to, to look good on the magazine, to mm. push the music. Mm. We can't have a certain image no more. Yeah. And that's when, um, to me, when the scene gets dangerous. Yeah. When you, there's, you, you know, you're picking images of who you think should look good on them. To Fits f- the mold. Yeah. And without, 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 you know, it's, you know, it's, it gets to the point where it's dangerous because yeah. then it becomes stereotyped. Yeah. And without sounding, without, you know, without sounding too. Horrible on, on, on social on here. It's, it gets to the point to me where we have with, with, with a, a thin line between racism. Mm. You know what I mean? Let's keep it real. Mm, mm, mm. Because I remember one year, Mampy Swift could have won the best year, and we all swore mm. Swift is going to win this year. Mm. And I said to my friend, he ain't winning. And my friend's like, why do you say that? I said, I don't want to sound horrible. And, and, and I was gonna, and I hope people that's watching don't take it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't have to prove mm-hmm. who I am or my beliefs in anything. I'm not even gonna mention mm-hmm. things that stereotyping thing about who mm-hmm. your best friend is crap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I knew Swift were winning. You're you're 15 stone, mm-hmm. 16 stone. You're black, mm-hmm. and you're a big guy. Mm-hmm. You don't suit that image. So who did who won in the end? Andy C. Andy C. 
Mm. Andy. Because he suits... Not, not just... Andy's a great DJ. Mm. I would never tell you... I told you that before. I love yeah, Andy. Yeah. I would never and he not, came up from the ranks. He came from the crack house mm. with us. You know what I mean? With his long ponytail. Mm. So I would never knock Andy. But if it wasn't Andy C, even if it was another black guy mm. who looked slimmer than Swift and looked more of the image, you know, or someone like Boo, someone of colour, mm. they would have, he'd have made him win. It's appropriation. Yeah. But we knew Swift weren't going to mm. win. Mm. And he should have won. Because mm, mm. he was the best DJ yeah. for that year. Double dropping everywhere, like yeah, yeah, for fun. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? Triple dropping, killing yeah. it. Yeah. And he got so disheartened, yeah. Swift. And if you ever sees his podcast, you know I'm not telling a lie. No, no, no. He, he, he left yeah, the scene. Connect. Yeah, he did. For five years. He, did, he, he went, he, he, yeah, he, he did it, go, it killed yeah. him. See, that wouldn't kill me. That would drive me. That's the difference in people. Mm. That things don't kill me. You know, if, I'm, if I think I'm pushed back because of my colour, mm. it doesn't push me back. It drives me. Mm. Makes you want to... Uh, watch me have... now. You know, you're, I'm going to prove you... Not, you know, not just prove you wrong, I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Mm. But it, better, it, makes, it drives me. I like mm. negatives to, like mm. that, to drive me. Mm -hmm. Because I don't believe in that, you know, all that crap. Yeah. But it, as you know, it puts Swift in a situation where he's yeah. like, I'm gone. Mm. And Swift would be like, I'm leaving the scene. We're like, why? He said, what do you mean, Why? Why do you think why? We're like, no, Swift, don't be silly, mm. man. That, the higher, the, the, the scene, the, the core base of a scene is not like that. No. Nothing like that. But then you get the... The Ravens aren't like that. No, at it, all. It, 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 nothing no. like that. No. It's, it's, it's just the higher powers above. Yeah. Those higher powers, they're, yeah, they're the... Yeah, that are very clinical. Yeah. It's just like the other day, um, the Grammys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay-Z. That's right. He had to go and talk for his wife. Yeah. That's right. Kana West. Yeah. Kana so had to get up there and, and take the thing from Taylor Swift. So what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no different. No. Jay-Z can't say it openly no. because you just took an award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. coming out and saying, boy, this Grammy is racist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. can't do that. Yeah. That's not business. No, but he cleverly... Said it his way. Like, how can my wife... And that's over... Have the most, have the most Grammys. Like, yeah. I got 20 Grammys, you got one... But you win best album. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does that? That doesn't work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we know why. Right. And also, he's speaking because of... Taylor Swift suits the image. The this image, is, this yes. is white America. But I don't know a single fucking Taylor Swift song. It's just not in my reel. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. She, but I'm pretty sure everyone will know. Everyone will know who Kanye West is. Everyone will know who Beyonce is. Everyone will know who Jay Z is. I mean, you know, yeah, I, and Beyonce. I think, yeah, exactly. Um, I feel like maybe um, there's. 50, 60, 70, 80 years plus worth of pent up that, mm. that Jay-Z had to execute at the opportunity he had. He had, yeah. And maybe while that echoes some of what um, Kanye said, yeah. I feel like perhaps it was Kanye saying it. Mm. So people could take it as a bit kooky. Oh, yeah, but it's Kanye. Yeah. He goes on these rants. But when Jay-Z says it... They had to listen. To listen. And Kana was a bit upset with Jay Z. Yeah. Because Jay Z got upset with Kana when he said it. Yeah. And he's like, bruh, what are you going to do that for? Yeah. And now look, yeah. 10 years later, he's, he knows. You're doing it. Yeah. So now you've got to look at Kana and say, yeah. But Kana's looking at you like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. 10 years too late. Yeah. Man. I'm talking for your girl, brother. You're trying to forecast for, yeah, for your I girl. I had to talk for your yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I had yeah, to yeah. jump on a stage and take take, take them. The mic, the mic said, what the hell is she winning it for? That's the realest, realest, realest right there. He did. He did he, when Jay-Z didn't. Because Jay-Z is part of the machine. Yeah. He's part of the machine. There's mm. so, much, so much he can say before they damage him. Yeah. No matter how much millions you got, you know, they can still damage you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, like, they can still damage you. Yeah, that's Look right. what they've done to Will Smith. He's banned for 10 years some yeah, of the Oscars yeah. Yeah. for hitting... um. Chris Rock, yeah. you know what I mean? But they still banned him. You're, yeah. you're the biggest act, one of the biggest actors in the world. Yeah. But they still banned you for 10 years. Some of these, particularly when you go into higher ranks of this Yeah, this the higher world, ranks. Yeah. I always think, I'm always cynical even when, you know, even if Jay-Z says something or, you know, Will Smith does this or kind of, I still feel a level of cynicism where I'm just like, well, what are they really doing behind the curtain that we'll have to get like real focused on this for? What, 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 what the power's doing here? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's a deeper thing. But yeah, the powers that, you know, in our, in our scene, the powers are, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I always say to you, we're all self-employed. Mm. So being, you can do what you want. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. But if we all start doing what we want, the scene will crash. Yeah. 
There's no body. No. You know, and with these kids, um, these artists that never get through, mm. they've always got this thing in their head that... Um, I'll do it my way. There's some body, there's some gatekeepers. Yeah. That's the word I hear. Gatekeepers. Like, ah, oh, gatekeepers. Mm. I'm like, gatekeepers? In a sense, there's, you know, as we spoke about before, but it's gatekeepers. But there's no gate one that can gatekeep in you. Mm. You know what I mean? You can still push yourself through. Yeah. But no one can stop you. If you're talented and you've got the drive and you've got the skills, no one can stop you. Yeah, 100%. Nobody. 100%. It might take longer than that other guy, mm. but you will get through. Yeah, it's true. Talent always shines. Yeah, it does. No matter what. Yeah. I don't care anybody says. And sometimes it takes the right timing. Sometimes it takes a moment. Sometimes you may not get it the first time and you have to wait. Yeah. But you've got to wait. Stay on the cycle. Because something suddenly happens and it's like, yep, fruit. Phew. Yep, now you're in. There's no gatekeepers. There's no gatekeepers. There's no... How can there be gatekeepers in something that's... We're all self-employed. Self-employed, yeah. Uh, I always say to people, they, they, they always get these up-and-coming artists or, or, or artists that didn't make it. Yeah. Or there's always just gatekeepers. I'm like, who's the gatekeepers? Yeah. <laughs> who? You tell... Yeah, you know, yeah. I've been in this for over 30 years. <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> you tell me who they are. It's this folklore. If you're talking about folklore. promoters... Yeah. You do your thing and put yourself where, you're, where, where, where the people's talking about you. Mm. If you call these people gatekeepers, they will look. Mm. But there's no gatekeepers because no one's stopping you from doing your own parties. You know what I rate the most is the grime lot, you know, like Flo Dan and um, Wiley and Target and all those guys that, you know, they, they were a couple of generations down from you guys who they looked up to. Yeah. And they knew that jungle and drum bass was saturated yeah but they knew that the kids wanted something else so they worked on something else and now they're getting on the same billings as the drum bass yeah. i just love what's well, yeah. such a romantic story of like change your lane switch it a little bit move that way yeah and you'll yeah, it's just fucking I great. mean that work for all these guys yeah 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 the soul solids yeah the, um the wileys yeah yeah you know all these all these you know storms it's storming done yeah you know, Storms, he does, does, does me in debt dub plates. Wow. My name's in it. Yeah, Storming. And he raps. Rest in peace, Storming. Wow. Yeah. All, yeah we, we, we work with, you know, a lot of these, you know, these guys we mm. work with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the top um, hip-hop guys and grime, we work with these mm. guys. And the reason why? Because they say they got respect for us. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, Brox, man. And, you know, we work for you guys, man. And we're like, but you're smashing it. Mm. I'm like, sometimes you're like, well, I'm sure I got you that grind thing. This is a good yeah. penny. <laughs> but then you're like, no, we'll say who we are. But at one point, you know, I'm not going to lie. We were like, oh, your thing's mercy. Yeah. Bit, uh, yeah. I did some of that. Yeah. It's over the dubstep as well. The dubstep, well, I mean, she's having a little bit of resurgence at the moment. But that, that dubstep, uh, dubstep may have suffered a little bit because of lack of foundation. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, dubstep was, I, I think, I just personally think, one, you know, when you had names like Shrillick that got involved in dubstep yeah. and the American side, yeah. and they bought and and in the English side started to use that, have the same name. That's when they should have changed the name yeah. to me. Yeah, because what what I the dubstep I like was the early dubstep. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, scream. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like the whole what the name was is what it was. Mm. It was dub. Yeah, like. Doo, 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 doo. You're like, yeah, yeah I can feel that. You know, a bit of split, chill, chill out. I couldn't rave to it, no. but I could feel it. Vibes. I liked it. It felt like it was on the street. It was street I music. I loved it. It's just soundtrack shit. Then they got into this... Love it. You know, you know, like, like metal sound that came into it. I'm like... Yeah. No, yeah. that that ain't dubstep. It's too the name dubstep it started with the first word yeah. dub. Yeah, yeah, that ain't dub. No. <laughs> that's no, no. noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that sounds like like people just say like two machines banging each other's heads. You know what I mean? That ain't yeah. music to me. Yeah. So it, you know, it lost yeah. the flavor for me. But now yeah. it's coming back because my my, my friends room, um, they're getting back into it. Yeah, yeah. And, but they're going back to the old sound. Yeah. The old yeah. school dubstep. Yeah. And it's you know they they locked it you know. Which is brilliant. That's what I Bring like. Bring back in again. We like. I all play that. in my car all the time. Yeah, do you? Yeah, the old stuff. Yeah, not the nothing. No, you know, I played dubstep tunes that are ten years old. Because mm -hmm. to me, that's when it was at its best. Yeah, hundred percent. I love that. It was beautiful then. I, I even went to a couple and it was smoked out. It just reminded me like of going to like a, a just shaka the rave. Yeah, like a proper dub rave. I remember them raves as Big well. Big bass lead. Yeah. Like, you're like in your chest. You're like, whoa. And you get you would get the reggae vocalists and thank you. Yeah. Over it. Oh, you had yeah. reggae samples, a little ink. 
Inc. They need a club night like that. Yeah. Again, though, where, you know, you've got those, that mesh of genres and um, even, you know, um, oh, what's his name? Sublo. Um, yeah. There's a genre. Yeah, oh, yeah. what's his name? Um, uh, I only know him as Rich, graffiti writer Rich. No limits. Oh, what's his name? Um, but he was at the top, sub, the whole Sublo genre yeah. as well. You yeah, know, I mean, the main With the rappers were yeah, jumping yeah. on, and that's what created that grime yeah, effect, yeah, really. Yeah, because, yeah, the grime and the dubstep. Like I was saying, you know, them guys that were doing it, Scream, mm. Benga, you know, they were mm. making, I know for a fact. Cokey, Silky, all Yeah, guys. they were making Casper. like 10 grand a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was literally... Benga like... bought, Benga bought, um, he went a bit mad. You know what I mean? He <laughs> yeah. spent, he went, he went, he... He went in. Yeah, and that's why, he, that's when, that's when it's, um, the street side of it is a bad thing for you. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if you're, stri- if you... If you're not used to money, mm. like lots of it, mm. like all of a sudden you're gone from five hundred pound a month to ten grand a month. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're not used to that. Mm-hmm. You can kind of go a bit wild, like me wild. On you know, you can take go wild with drugs or buying clothes or buying cars or just mm. jumping this. Yes, yeah, it's PTSD. You just be str- yeah, and then you know when you get get that sort of money. And I remember being, he was buying like he wouldn't wear the same underwear twice. <laughs> That's a fact. Wow. That's a fact. It's incredible. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. What about cars? Did he drive the same car? No, he bought, he bought Maseratis, Ferraris. Stop it, really? Yeah, yeah. That's he incredible. He's got two cars, three cars. Stop He ain't that. got no more. Wow. Yeah. But, because job step dropped off. Yeah, yeah. So that 10 grand, every, that 40 grand a month that he was getting is gone. It's crazy. And that's when I say that's the only sad sign of... Um, Let's just say anything in any walk any, of life. Yeah, you know, you come from the street and all of a sudden you've got all this money. Yeah. It you would do anybody. You young guys on the street now. Yeah. Like you're driving a 50 grand car, but you ain't got a job. No. How do you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was a policeman, I'd stop you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, why? Because you're a fool. Yeah. I'm putting you over because you're a show off and you're a fool. Because <laughs> all you're doing is showing me your wealth, but you haven't got a job. Yeah. You're using a cushion to sit up on the seat. You can't even look big enough to drive the yeah, car yet. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you've got yeah. a 50 grand car that some people can't get better to hold their life. Yeah, 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 but yeah. you don't work. Yeah. But you live at mummy's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and let's see what you've got in, in, under your bed at mummy's house. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be something metal. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Because <laughs> otherwise, how do you get that? And crypto and laundry things like that. Yeah, the street shows no mercy. Yeah, yeah. So the whole street movement... It's a beautiful thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Without the street moving, there wouldn't be the, there wouldn't be the scene. No. Nah. And that's why, like you say, it's a community thing. And that's why I still try to keep with me grounded. Yeah. I help as I try to help as many as people as I can through my group. Mm. I've given over a hundred people platforms to perform mm. in raves I've done. I bring deaf people up under sixteens. I bring name artists, unnamed artists. Because I'm 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 still that youth club guy, mm. community guy. Mm. That's where I'm from. Mm. And I believe that if you help somebody, genuinely help them, and they're the and they're the real deal, they're flush. Not everyone's gonna come back and help you or say thank you, mm. but some will. Mm. And you help the right people. Don't mm. help people to get a return, but at the same time, if you're helping them, it'd be nice for them to say thank you afterwards. Mm. Or they might be the guy that might all of a sudden become the biggest thing in the world. And they're flourish. And then they're like, "Get that help me, Brocky, help me, mate. Come on, mm. you're on the same stage as me. Mm. Thank you." No, each, mate, each one teach you. one. Yeah, it's like each one teach one. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. You're like, thanks, bro. Yeah. Nah, Brox, you're up here. We're, we're going on tour. Why? Because you believed in me and you helped me. Thank you. I didn't want to return, mate. I mean, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But a lot of the new cats don't think like that. They well, you've heard be... it. That's where you should do it. Manage it like that. That's what cultivates a scene. Yeah. A lot it? of new cats don't think like that. Mm. They're like, I'm here today. You know, what the saddest thing is like for me that within the scene is that um, lots of artists who I know personally, they're here today with us all and then all of a sudden a big company comes along, someone comes along and they start forgetting everybody. Right, right. Mm. Like I said, they don't mm. answer the phone to you no mm. more. Then they come with this crap. This is, this, is, this, is, this is something I don't understand because everyone's different. Mm. But everyone says, Brock, you're not, you know, until you're in that position, you won't know. So I'm asking your opinion, right? So my thing about the, um, the new eyes that get big is that mm. you was giving me all your tunes, mm. but now you're signed to this big label, mm. but don't forget, and this label's told you, you can't give Brocky, right? So this is my argument. This is typical because I say to people, everyone's different. Mm. 
if someone came to me, if I was giving you my tunes mm. all my life, mm. first proposal, you're mm -hmm. passing, playing. Yeah. I don't care who I sign for. My contract was saying, I want to give you still. Yeah, that's right. Stipulated because you're somewhere. Because you come to me. Yeah. If you come to me because I'm shining mm. and I'm making waves and like, oh, Brock, you, we want to sign your label. We want to sign your music. And I'm saying, so as far as I'm concerned, the ball's in my court. Yeah. But what a lot of artists do, and they, and they lie, mm. big artists, as far as I'm concerned, they're lying or they're scared mm. or because they're so greasy. They don't say to that um, big um, guy, nah, mm. yeah, thanks for signing. You know, I want, I'm definitely going to sign that paper for mm. you, but I want to make sure these three guys who have helped me out to get to this position where I am signing that paper, where you notice me, yeah, gets the boost. Get refuses my music. Yeah, yeah. And if that, per and if that label guy says, nah, we can't do that, most guys are scared to say, well, I don't, I'm not signing this. Yeah, that's because they're scared of what the repercussions Yeah, they're scared. Are. Yeah. So they say, okay. Yeah. I won't give him no more. So all of a sudden, you're ringing up, I'm ringing up. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I can't give you that. Yeah, yeah. Why? Oh, because my man management. Yeah, yeah. Your manager telling you can't give me, I'm your friend. They're controlled. I'm your friend. Yeah. You're telling me you can't give me. Yeah. Oh, I, or I can't come and DJ for you tonight. Why? Oh, because my manager says it's not a good look. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. not a good look to come play for me. Yeah, yeah. Why, where did it happen? I get because it. Because last year, you would have you would, you would, you would, you would come play for nothing. Yeah. But now you're telling me you can't do it for me no more because yeah. your management said so. I don't know what the fuck that's about. I, this, that's what yeah. I hate about the scene. What I, I've seen with a lot of artists who've gone big and switch on their friends, yeah. scared to say to the, the, the big guy, nah, I'm making yeah. sure he gets my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'm making sure he's at every show with me. Or I'm making sure we do these shows for my friends yeah, yeah. still. Like, you can, like, you know, I remember I was going to join a big agency and they said to me, oh, yeah, but you can't do too many jungle fevers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my friend's rave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you mad? Yeah. It's not just my friend, that's my, that's my best friend. And he's put me on every jungle fever he's ever done. Mm. And you're telling me now, it's not a good look to do them. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, yeah, and it's, 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 it's kind of gutless when people It's horrible. Do that, It's sicky. Yeah. And when you find that with a grapevine, mm. you know, I, like you say, I'm not even going to say, you know, we, we spoke about something, I'm not even going to mention what you spoke about, but it's, uh, some, I'm going to give people an, an idea, kind of vibe. Well, I know a big artist, like big, big artist, and it's not confrontational. He mm. tries, you know, most big artists don't want to be confrontational mm -hmm. because now they've got someone in, in place mm. to do your talking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they, they hide behind that guy mm. because they, they, without something with how horrible, they're pussy mm. holes. You know, but sorry. They ain't got no backbone. Yeah. So they hide behind their management or they hide mm. behind whoever's in front to do the dirty talking for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, but the people that's, they're hiding, who want to talk to them, they're friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've seen, you know, a big MC told us this, that when you call a certain DJ, he'd be on the phone, like, you're calling like, yes, yeah, they're good to hear you, bruv. Mm. And you'd be like, yeah, I want to book you for my party. Mm. Bruv, just ring up the agency and I'm there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before your phone's down, yeah. they're calling the agency and saying, if you call, say, I'm not available. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's some I'm not even saying who wow. these artists are. Mm. Because they don't want to be confrontational, and they haven't got the backbone, mm. that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snaky. Yep. And this is a fact. Mm. And I've seen, uh, you know, I've not seen, mm. their MCs have told us. Mm, 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 mm. That's what they do. Wow. They, yes, you're on. I'll make sure, I'll, I can't wait to do it for you. Before you even got to phone their, you know, the A, the, the, yeah, I'm not available. Nasty. And you would never know. Yeah, nasty. I hate that shit. It's horrible, isn't it? I hate that when shit. When you hear that. Be real. Just say no. Yeah. I can or I can't. Yeah. I can or I can't. Or I'll try. Yeah. But don't... L Lead you on Yeah, to... yeah, I'm coming. Oh, thank you for that. To keep face. Oh, that was great. How are you anyway? How's your mum? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. When the phone's down... Duh, 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 duh. If you've got, I'm, not, I'm not available, right? Wow. Shifty. Yeah. That's what goes on in the That's scene. That's really going on. Yeah, it happens. Even now. Up to now. Wow. And that to me is like, mm, yeah. come on, man. These yeah. are the people that are your pals, yeah. man. This it shouldn't this... be like that in a scene. That's what happens when you get to the top. Uh. When you get to the top, people are scared. They're scared to, to be pushed off the top. So you become, you know, without sounding horrible, you become, just become a monkey, like a, you know, like an idiot. Uh. They pull the strings, you jump. How mm. high? How high should mm. I jump, sir? Mm. Because why? Because they're putting 50 grand a month into your account. But to me, if you're gonna do that for money, you might as well, you might as well turn around mm. and bend over and take mm. one up the, up the shutter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
for every time yeah. someone pays you. Yeah. That's that's what you are. Yeah. You're just a you're just a pawn. Yeah. In the, in the, the whole you're just game. nothing, man. You got no backbone. You're, you know you're more concerned about the money. Yeah. And and them things. And that's how they get you. Yeah. They get you like that. And that's how they. I know friends like that. They're scared to because they're scared what they're going to lose. But it crushes the scene. It yeah. kills the vibe. It means that it, it it kind of sets a divide. Yeah. But that's what goes on. Wow. At the top end. Wow. They're scared to tell you no because they're your friends, so they get someone else to do it. That's some fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. This is your personal friends, you know. You know, this ain't like this. This is someone. Sure, you lot. Yeah, they know they are. They they know exactly who they are. Wow. They know who they are. And when you see it here and see that, you're like, wow, yeah. that is really not nice. Yeah. And it just shows you what the scene, it's got to that level now where it's got to that kind of like nastiness. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. Be back in the day, you'd be like, no, I'm there. And you're, you're really going to be there. Yeah. Now it's like, you're thinking to yourself, nah, it's not a good look. No. It's not going to suit Taints me. it. Or Taints yeah, it's not, or your, or your, your manager, nah, mm. that sort of, you can't play in them sort of clubs. Or you I... can't play in that sort of genre. Oh, no, you can't play old school. Mm. I had a big DJ now who plays old school now tell me back in the day, before, I never stopped doing jungle. I was doing D&B. And he used to say to me, Brocky, you need to stop doing jungle, playing at jungle raves, because you're going to be labelled. I'm like, but I'm a junglist. That's where I'm from. <laughs> so when you're saying yeah. I'm labelled, I don't understand what you, what you mean labelled into what? Oh, that you're going to get booked for old school raves. No, but I play jump up, you know, jump up and up new stuff. So why would that happen? Mm. That happen now? Cut a long story short, this person, this is why you got to do what you do. Don't yeah. listen to people's, you know. Yeah, yeah. This person, and you just tell me that, had a few mm. artists that, big artists. Mm -mm. I'm not going to say who, because he knows who he is. Mm -hmm. Big artists, big, big, big artists. Plays that jungle raves. Mm. I had to call the promoter who's my friend, not to badmouth him, but to say like, I can't believe he's on your party. He told me not to do your raves. Wow. And they're like, yeah, Brox, we got him. Wow. Next thing you know, I saw him on raves that, even I would have thought, like, I can't believe you're doing that. Wow. There's two artists, big artists, in the last couple of years that have changed the whole, what they're doing, and, I, and we all know who they are. Wow. Uh, but one of them was, was one that was told us all, mm, a few of us, don't do that. Really? Don't play. Yeah, he told me personally. We fell out. Don't play, you're playing too much Jungle Blocks. You keep playing this Jungle Raid. But when Jungle became the biggest thing, huh. like, go back about three, four, remember, this Jungle blew up massive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thousands of people. It was ram. Switch. Wow. And now they're playing at Jungle Raves every weekend. Really? When I look, when it, but I got the last laugh. Because mm -hmm. I know what you said to me. And mm. it wasn't just me you said it to. And amongst us, me and my friends, who you said it to, we speak about it. Really? And we're like, yeah, what, what a cunt. <gasps> but it shows you, do your thing. Yeah. Don't listen Don't to listen people. Don't listen to nothing. Do what, you, what you're yeah. comfortable with. Yeah. Don't listen to people. Don't let someone tell you what you should do. Mm. Like, oh, don't play this. Don't play that. Don't. don't because they're most of them are hypocrites. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, or they're or they're seeing something in you that scares them, that you might better them. Yeah. So they want to push you back. That's really what it is. It works both ways. I always yeah. look at things. You know, if you're someone said you don't do something, why are you telling me that? What are yeah, you scared yeah, of? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, because well, you can read deeper. What are you worried that? about? What are you yeah, saying yeah. you don't do that for? Because you're scared. Yeah. You got to keep your, short, your sword sharp with things like that. You've got to read deeper into what's yeah. going on on surface. Even as friends or not, you've yeah. got to understand this. Yeah. But when a competitive world, when someone's telling you don't do something, you've got to look into it. Yeah. Don't just take a space value like, oh, he's got my back. Yeah. No, when it's music, yeah. why? Yeah. You tell me don't do it. Yeah. Why? You've got to let, yeah, you've got to, you've got you've got to look, go in deep, look into it deeper. Like, what's the problem? <sighs> and this person told us, don't do it. Wow. And now they're even saying to make sure they're headlined. Wow. Okay. Yep. So have a look on your headline flyers and see. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brocky, you've always been a sign of excellence. Guarantee what it says is what it does and you deliver. I mean, you're, again, it's highlighted on this podcast. You've, you've spoken honestly, frankly, nothing short of what I was hoping for. As a as a hero, and uh, and somebody an acquaintance that I've seen mm. rock for many many years. Yeah. What's the future? Um. Well, the future just me and Debt really. Yeah. You know, believe it or not, me like I said, me and Debt we're gonna, we're working on an album right now. Woo! 
okay. Yeah, yeah, our first album. That was a casual, what, the what? Yeah, Wicked. Yeah, you might be getting a call, don't worry about Yo, that. Oh, like, you just mentioned you. <laughs> yeah, what we're trying already. to do, we're trying to like do the album like, um, not just drum and bass, of course. Mm. We're more than that. Mm. So that we do a few his things and we have a jungle track, we might have a couple of reggae tracks on Brilliant. there. Brilliant. Might have a hardcore track. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's a journey. Love it. And our journey is not just going to be one sound. Mm. Our journey hasn't been one sound. Ah. And because I'm doing it with debt, we're trying to, uh, like, like, this, like um, all the grime guys, like like the Wileys and, mm. um, you know, Stormzy and all them guys and Skeptors and all wow. them. We know them all, mm. as you know. We know mm. them all personally. So we're gonna try try and make them join in, you know, Fantastic. as well. Not, not only like a, a little bar, a few bars. Yeah, yeah. It might even just be a, a, a skip, you know, like big up Brocky, and, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. But just to show people, we need that for the scene. This is there's great. more going Bring on it together. Yeah. yeah, we just come together. You know, like you say, flower. And I'm we're happy for him. Yeah. And I see um, Double O getting involved now. Mm, yeah, you know, like yeah, watch it. You're all watching. No worry. But I like, isn't it? Like once again, Serious. he's a nice guy. Yeah. And he's and he these guys love. We know these guys personally, mm. and they love they love jungle. You know, they just didn't make it in it. Mm. So like you said, so they went and done their own thing. Did their thing. It bless their soul. Yeah. Because when they done that, it at one point was worrying mm. when, when I'm you know because they took all the girls out of our, yeah. our music. But at the same time, they added a different color yeah. to the palette of of music coming from the UK. And that's what I love about the UK. And, and by the sounds of it, this album that you're doing reflects that. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. The album reflects everything. Mm. You know about the scene and about London and about living in 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 the inner cities and the living in the inner cities is colourful, it's joyful, it's dangerous, and it's knowledgeable. Mm. You know what I mean? It's everything that you want to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you survive in inner cities, I would say you could survive anywhere in the Thousand world. Thousand percent. I really believe that. If you yeah. can survive, of course, if you get caught in a jungle, you're fucked. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, not, we're not used to snakes biting. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? There's certainly no road signs. Yeah. <laughs> but any but any any other city, you know, you, you know, and that's what that's. Ju no, that's what London is to me. Mm. London represents jungle and d, &D in the sense where it's just everything. It's colourful and it's brightful and how it's supposed to be. You know, I've always, I've always compared jungle and d, &D to Benetton mm. and people always like, why do you say Benetton? I say because Benetton was about the many colours. Mm. Everyone forgets what, the, what Benetton meant. Mm. The many colours of Benetton mm. and they have all the colours. I love that. And that's what to me jungle and d, &D is. It's like a rainbow. Mm. And at the end of the rainbow, there's a golden pot. And I hope everyone finds it. But it's about, we're all together in this thing. Yeah, all man. the colours together make a beautiful rainbow. If it's just one colour, it's dull. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's about more colours being involved. And that's what got me into the rave scene. Because I used to be into reggae. Mm -hmm. Everyone was black. I'm black, so of course I'm happy about that. Mm. But I knew there was more going on in life. You know, like, I need to do something else. Yeah. And my friend's like, bro, you need to come to this rave scene. You know what I mean? This, I'm like, what? What's that about? It's like, boom, boom. I'm like, no. What was that? I'm used to, do, 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 do. what yeah. was it? Boom, boom. But then I got in there. I'm like, why are these people really this? having it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one cares who you are. You know, I'm not going to lie. Someone said to me, Brox, drop this E, mate. I'm like, what? What's that about? <laughs> ah, yeah. what, love that? For like, uh, Ruben Custard? I'm like, okay, what's that about? He said, yeah, just take half of that, Brox. You'll be flying. I'm like, hmm, a bit worried about that. But hell no, let's have a go. <laughs> Took half. I was flying. Never looked back. Never I was, touched I the ground. I was the best dancer in the rave. <laughs> I loved everybody. Yeah. And everyone loved me because we were all on the same vibe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what got, you know, so I was a raver, of course, before I was a DJ. And I took, took ease like everybody else. But at the same time, I looked up on the stage and thought, I want to be up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And I'm doing all this on the dance floor, but I'm looking like, you know, you look at all the rays. This is a bit of this mean. guy, this one guy, you're like, mm. wow, they're amazing. I'm so am I. I'm like, wow, it's unbelievable. I thought, I need to be out there. I need a bit of this. <laughs> so I had to work my way <laughs> over years to make sure I got up there. Fuck. But what got me into the race in them days was, it, like, it was easy. You had yeah. no choice. It was four to the floor. There wasn't very much. There was like no everyone soul. else, yeah. There was no soul in the no. music. No. So if you didn't do drugs... You couldn't just rave to that nah. music. It was impossible. It wasn't thing. made to rave. Like it wasn't made for you to stand there and go home. Mm. It was made for drugs. Yeah. I don't techno, happy hardcore. Them <laughs> things were made all about with drugs involved. The people that made them were on drugs. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you're like, oh, you know, like that when they're making them. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to be in line. You've got to fall in yeah. line. And a lot of people, most of the artists I know, got in the same way as me. Mm -hmm. 
You know, because you didn't think you you didn't, you you couldn't you couldn't get in just to be being a DJ or mm-hmm. an MC because for that someone had to own a rave. Yeah, yeah. And our friends didn't have raves. You know, unless you you were lucky enough that your friend had a big rave, like if your friend um done well dance, but even then your friend at well dance ain't gonna put no name down. Mm, mm, mm. You had to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard mm. to get into that main room, but they were, you know, but so drugs was the main thing that got everyone I know, and everyone called me the devil. <laughs> like, you're the devil. How can you listen to that devil music? I'm like, what's that? They're like that boom boom star. I like devil music. They're like, because they see me, don't forget, they see me come home in four or five in the morning, all my eyes red. Yeah, yeah. And I had to play for um, prof- semi pro football, professional football, like semi pro, semi pro, not pro, pro, pro semi professional. Mm-hmm. I played Saturday and Sunday, and I played for my borough. Wow. And I had to grave on Saturday, buzzing, <laughs> go to play football. <laughs> Fucking a gallon of orange trying to clear my head, mm. and then the ball's getting kicks in my face. I thought, I can't do this no more. No, no, no. So, something I had to The give. rave has taken me. That's mm-hmm. exactly what happened. I wasn't just the only person it happened to, loads mm. of people, mm. and the rave just took me. And I thought, you know what? This football thing, I'm not going to be an Ian right. <laughs> I could go for the racing. Yeah, I'm yeah, enjoying yeah, the, I'm, I'm enjoyed the racing. I'm, I'll not go gonna be, I'm not going to be an Ian right. I was all right. <laughs> yeah, I was that good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I would have gone play, go play some records instead yeah, yeah, and see what yeah. I could do over that, that side. And that's what took me. And kick ass doing it as yeah, well. that's what got me into the rave scene was wow. d- drugs. Wow. Yeah. Anyone that says they didn't, they're a liar. Yeah. Anyone that said I got into racing because of the music, you're a liar. So funny because it does come out on the podcasts eventually. To, to, you know, I'll, I'll spare the names, but the amount of times like... People come up with the same yeah, story. Yeah, they come up with the same story. They might hold it down for long yeah, enough, yeah. but you know, just give them, give them an hour or two. Yeah, they yeah. Got, Stop breaking out, yeah. They got them, they got them because it's the reality. Yeah, the yeah. music was so... Empowering and, and new and... and it, it was it, made... Influenced. Ambient. It was made for that vibe. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was made for drugs. Anyone that said, you know, techno, all that music was made for drugs. Is that going to be reflected on the, on the new album? Yeah, we're going to do a techno track. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I've got friends that make techno. Amazing. So we're going to um, hook up with them and, you know, <coughs> have a techno track on And some Red Groove as well? Yeah, 100%. Oh. You've got vocalists in mind for that? Um, yeah, we've got a girl. Yeah, we've got one girl. She's all right. It's got to be Kelly LaRock. Yeah. Got some Kelly LaRock Yeah, that, that's Det's friend. Yo, Kelly Det's all day. good friend. Yeah, Kelly's good peoples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's lovely, man. Yeah. I've watched her the other day on that, that's some podcast show. Yeah. Yeah. The best one she does on the Killer Keller podcast. You didn't need you know to do that. Yeah. You know, you're bigger and better than that. I'm so, not going to knock your choices because <laughs> I, I love you. So the album is on its way and uh, life is good. Um, East London is most definitely in safe hands then. Hopefully. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, hopefully. Brocky, it's been a fucking pleasure having you on. I, I was, I was chatting for the, for, the, for the world, weren't I? Nah, brother, this is what podcasts are about. <laughs> I feel like I've learned so much and what's more exciting is that you've got a future flourishing in new album works. Yeah. You and Debt together. Yeah. And uh, hopefully have both of you on the podcast yeah, again yeah, at some yeah, point. Yeah, we've got, you know, got a lot going on really. You know, we've got the new um, Call FM's been sold. And Bang all. on, yeah, back in the back in yeah. the room. Bought by Rinse, yeah. and Genius, them guys. Incredible. And I'm, of course, I'm at the forefront of that. Yeah. You know, because of how long I've been with Cool, so yeah. I'm part of that deal. Mm. You know what I mean? That was sold with Cool, so... You know, the only way is up, man. You know what I mean? The future's looking interesting. Yeah. You know I mean? But, you know, I'm, my eyes are open and I'm aware mm. and I'm not bitter and I'm not red eye and I'm not, you know, I, I, I focus on my lane, mm. what I'm doing. What everyone else is doing, that's good for them. But I focus on me. You know what I mean? And my friends it. around me and I focus on debt and I focus on Cool FM and everyone around that circle, because that's my people. Mm. Anything outside of that is not my concern. See, that's the way to go about it, people. Do you know what I mean? Some lessons, some industry lessons and life lessons all in yeah, one. Yeah, focus on your own shit. Yeah. Stop watching other people. Yeah. The more you watch, the, the better, the further they're getting yeah. and the further you're falling behind. Yeah. Why? Because you're too red-eye watching Yeah, yeah, them. yeah, busy. Busy watching them. They're not them. watching you, but you're watching them. And then you go on custom or go on social media mm. and write crap about them. And it's not worth it. Do you think they're interested? It's just weak, weak, bad-minded egos in Facts. the game. Facts. Facts. But thanks for having us, though. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> it's been so good to finally ple- chop it up. It's been a pleasure, man. Thank you for Woo! having us. No, come on, guy. Listen, Brocky inside the building. Heroes inside the place, yo. North Weezy was feeling pretty good for this period of time. 
going to go back to East, back into the dungeon and start working on some of these tunes and hopefully we'll have both him and Depp back in due course. Killer Keller podcast, out like in was out of fashion, serves you right, sharing is caring. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they, all right? Don't talk to an I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Nice one, Rocky. Peace. Peace. <laughs>